Scrubby. Let's give him a red light. All right, start of the third term. 8 6 54, Anarchy leading in Belize. 6 12 48. And the umpire will put the ball in the air for uh, Luke Wilson and going up against him, Daniel Grozdanovsky. So there's a change to start with. Logue goes towards uh, half forward. Hybens is standing in the full forward he position is, for uh, Imbali. And the ball runs out from Kavanagh and also Meehan on the left half forward flank for the Hawks. So first tr strategic change by Imbali to have uh, Hybens in the forward line. And a couple against him as well. Probably need them too, I reckon. Yeah. <laughs> so a boundary throw in. Grozdanowski and uh, probably Phyllis, I think, with it. Phyllis gets it down too. So the Ruse shuffle the handball out to Berg. Centre wing. Scrubby looking kick towards half forward. And coming at McHenry in front. Oh, the Anarchy boys run into each other. So it's time for the Hawks. Hamer goes towards half forward, but... Uh, Corey Collins fills the space. Left foot kick was terrible off the boot. Across half back, dangerous kick. Falls in the arms of Grobzdanovsky. Goes towards the uh, pocket. Two on one, Grundle. Just shepherds nicely for Brackley. And he takes the mark right forward. Pocket suddenly into the ground. Wants to play on quickly. Runs in. 20 metres out. Should kick the goal and does. So a good start for the Hawks. And the first goal for Inverley in the third term. And they've tied things up. 7 12 54 apiece in Belie and Anarchy. The Grandy Cyclone Sport third quarter scoreboard. Minute and a half played. Oh, they had blokes running everywhere. Anarchy up the forward line. It was going to be all the way down the ground, I think. And Corey Collins very, very uncharacteristically miskicked kicked it straight to an Inverley player. And of course, all the Anarchy players are out of position. Down they went and, and kicked a good goal, but an easy goal because all their defenders had gone down the ground. So back with the umpire, middle of the ground. Grozdanowski now up against Wilson. <coughs> We said with Hybens now sitting in the goal square. So the ball thrown up. Wilson over the top, went towards Berg, but Mew intercepted, picked up by Hamer. He put the ball down. Now he's gone back and collected it again. Uh, uh, coming out of the contest is Hutchison, able just to get foot to ball. Meehan gets the ball on the uptake, but uh, now lose it in the sand pit. Kicked off the ground. Hamer goes back, collected. Bit high there, but he put his head down. Oh, good work there from Kavanagh. Spun out of trouble. And a high tackle there from Liam, resulting free kick, Anarchy's way in the middle of the ground. Really don't know how he missed that first high tackle on the Inverlee block. He was only four metres away. So Kavanagh comes out wide, good kick, finds Smith. Looking for a player over the top, uses that player in Collins, went back towards Smith. He's uh, shielded the player's run and Smith's able to drive the ball long into the back line. Rozdanovsky's up and down, didn't pick the ball up. Uh, Cheney goes back, oh, I don't know whether that was... Uh, well disguised, oh. Gus, but the um, umpire says it's OK. It will be thrown back in the field of play. He, I think he was lucky he got a second touch on it. If that first touch had gone straight out, he was gone, but he was able to get the ball before it went over the line. So deep in the forward line, Anarchy are now a real chance to uh, to get a score here. Especially with Wilson doing the ruck work up against Grozdanowski, although Wilson's standing back here in the centre of the ground, so it won't be him doing the ruck work. It's going to be Rickett. Ball thrown in. Ball just tapped high. Berg, big punch forward. Picked up there by Hutchison. Tackled from behind. Releases it. Picked up by Logue. Went back on his right side, which is his left. But he handballs to Hamer and kicks round towards centre wing. Going back. Grozdanowski. Mark's not taken. Ground level. Collins taps it along. Favours Gat. Gat picked the ball up. Handball was going to go to Berg. They decided to go alone. Steps twice around the contest. Went to Kavanagh, who goes long to the goal square. Who goes long to the goal square. Oh, he's marked it. And a mark has been taken back there. And a Detridge again. It is. He might kick one and throw one up here, but... Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Cough up a lung and kick a goal. Yeah. <laughs> Has three. Will kick four. Comes in. Goal. And Anarchy, a good uh, start to the third quarter. Nine goals, six. Now they reply quickly. Inverley on 7-12, third quarter of the Grandy Cycling Sports scoreboard. No, I tell you what, Corey Collins, he really got himself into the play there two or three times, I think, to atone from his mistake early on in the quarter. But tell you what, there's no doubt in this young Etridge. I saw him a couple of years ago at Bell Park as an on-baller, and he was a, a reasonable player. He played a bit last year, but he's really come of age. He's a really good kid, and uh, hopefully with a few other kids they've got, they're, they're coming good, Anarchy, and they, they can go all the way here today. So back to the middle. Wilson and Grozdanowski. Wilson gets it down through the middle. Nobody wants to go and pick it up. Well, the hold was on for Hutchinson. He went over the football, didn't take it, and uh, Gat put the hold on him. So back into the centre square for Inverley. Not much to kick to at half forward now because everybody's rolled up into the middle. So he has to play on. He gets around. Gat. 
Goes long towards centre half forward. Brackley goes up off the back. Costello second grab takes the mark. Umpire. Why is that not a mark, Grubby? Well, it is a mark. <laughs> And, uh, he had the first grab, he had the second <laughs> grab, and nobody else touched it. Nick Costello can't believe it. Ball up, centre half forward. Wilson gets it down. Meehan, Rhodes, little short kick, was in two minds. And uh, Gledhill gets it away to Berg. At defensive 50, goes wide towards centre wing. Reduce choice goes up, can't take the mark. Against de Blasio, he gets the handball free. Meehan, in fact, it's Cations, goes to the left foot kick. Gerard got a couple against him. And he's not going to get past Costello there. Gives it away to Berg by hand. He gives it further afield. Phyllis, outside 50, not much to kick to. Just gets it away under pressure from Meehan. Goes along the line. Inverley with the numbers. Mill was there, had some support. Can they keep it in, though, or do they want to keep it in? Well, they try to. And the umpire will come in and ball it up. Centre wing on the outer side. Oh, that's got to be a report, umpire. He's decked him. He didn't even see it. So... Ball We're up. 400 yards away. <laughs> Inverley. <laughs> Try and bring the ball away. They can't do so now. Gledhill gets it out towards Kavanagh. Past him. Muir. His handball on the up to Hutchinson. Left foot kick around the corner was good to me. An uncontested mark. Half forward. Thought about the handball to Cations. Just goes back though now. Plays on. Short little kick to Cations. So he got there in the end. He goes from half forward long to full forward. Hybens goes up. Oh, he held on to anyway and took the mark. Six of one half dozen the other. And that's what they need to do, kick it long, kick it to him, he will take the mark in most cases, James Hybens. Well, that's what they have to do. What Anarchy have to do is Wilson's got to start absolutely dominating so they can't afford, Inverley can't afford this big fella to stay down there. That's what's got to happen. So Hybens, kicking not his best part of the game, so I wouldn't put it down just yet. He made well, hard work of it now, too, I tell you, from 20 out, but he just put it in and he's put it through for a goal. So, Hyvins kicks his first, and they go to 8 12 60 in Valley. Tied up again, Anarchy 9 6 60. It's a Granny Cycle and Sport third quarter scoreboard, seven minutes played. Well, look, that's great footy. They've got it down really quickly to the big bloke, and that's what they've got to do. But again, the ball probably should have been up the other end of the ground. I thought I saw a big, a beautiful left cross and dropped the umpire call play on. Maybe he was closer, and maybe it didn't connect, and he was staged, and that's all I can put it down to. Go back with the umpire, middle of the ground. Gozdanowski up against Wilson. As you said, Grubby needs to get control in here, the Anarchy side, and take it out of the middle of the ground. Wilson up over the top, knocks it forward. There's a free kick being given. Not too sure who it was to or what it was for, but it's going to go to Muir. For a hold. Made against Berg, was it? Yep. So it's Dean Muir, step into the free kick. So Inverley a chance now to go deep into the forward line again. Have players learning. There's a little bit more movement up forward now. There's a lot of space behind the players at half forward. He's no too sure where to go, but he goes out wide. We're looking for Gerard, the smallest bloke in the field. Westbrook, or Wisebrook, over the back, takes the ball out of the contest, ends up in the hands of Hutchison. That's a nice flat kick going towards Dalton. One hand up at the back of the pack is Costello. Chips and runs wide, and it's going to find Gledhill. Just got to take by the amount of beard he's got, and it's the only time I can tell on the path. So Gledhill goes short and finds Kavanagh. So, again, the possession football from Anarchy is good. Redoubt in the middle. Ignores him and goes wide. Better looking kick, Etridge. Far side of the ground. Centre wing. Goes along the boundary line. Close to the boundary line. The mark's been taken out there and it's... Vay's on there, McHenry comes back inside to Logue. He steps around the first player coming at him and goes back along the boundary line, kicks out wide, too wide. Yeah, Jeez. And it's going to be yeah, a so they, kick. they were nearly in the car park two minutes ago. So the ball quickly moves back to Berg in the middle of the ground. He plays the ball and runs, kicks long, and he's a good long kick of the football. Goes to the full forward position. Ling can't take quick possession. Ball picked up. Handball goes back. Ends up in the hands of Logue. He's back there again. Kicks round the corner. He gets the retired distance on it. Has the two players there. Cations and Caney trap it. He will. He'll go back. Good pressure there from Phyllis. And the ball, no, not over the boundary line yet, so it's kept in play. So Cations and Dil Muir have got the ball in front of them. But uh, coming the other way, Anarchy have been able to tie the ball up on centre wing. And the umpire's going to come in and take possession. They've probably got to pay Berg a little bit more respect here. They're just letting him sit back and run wherever he wants to run. Yeah, Cations uh, holding it on the far side. Ankle, I think. Another replacement coming in. 
ball over the top. Ends up in the hands of Gat for Anarchy. Steps around the oncoming player. Goes once and twice. A lot of players doing that. They must have been watching Billy last night. Candy. Kicks into the full forward line. Chases. Oh. Doesn't take the mark. At ground level. Picked up. Edry. Oh. Another one. He loves it. <laughs> he loves it, this boy. <laughs> And he kicks Anarchy's 10, 10, 6, 66. Invalia on 8, 12, 60. And we have gone 10 minutes, third quarter, the Grandy Cyclone Sports scoreboard. Well, I think to this date, all his goals have been just through brilliant football. And But I think that one, Alex Cations, he dropped what he should have taken down there. And in close games, well, yeah, I don't think you notice it that much when we haven't got a close game. But when we've got a close game, you can't afford to make those little mistakes that cost goals because they stand out a lot more. Cations coming from the ground with that ankle. Here it coming back on. I'm glad I picked this game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, you'll be picking the one after in a leg too, brother. We'll be coming no, back we here. We'll know where we're going. We'll <laughs> be coming back here again. No worry about that, bro. Back, to the, the, footy. back yeah. to the middle. Wilson gets it yeah. down. Rove by Hamer. Had it, lost it. Under pressure. Ruse putting it on in there. Mule fighting hard for it. Quick kick came out from Wormsley back towards Berg on the sand pit. Handballs it away to Wilson. His handball back to Kavanagh. On the outside on centre wing. Switches the ball towards that half foot. Good kick. McAuliffe takes the mark on a long lead. Where, where is Ettridge? Give it to him again. No, he doesn't. Oh, Cation's dropped it again. Under pressure. He gets it back. Handballs it. Better this time. Kick around the corner. Might be okay from McHenry. Goes wide looking for Grozdanowski. Under pressure. Collins comes at him. Sees him over the line. I'll tell you what you didn't see in the back play too after the handball from Wilson, a magnificent shepherd to give his anarchy little fella a bit of a good run at the footy. So that's what you got to sorry, that's what you got to see big players, big blokes doing, throwing their body at them. Boundary throw in, centre wing, Wilson up against Grozdanowski, neither get an effective tap through the middle. Grozdanowski does his own roving, brother to brother, goes back towards half forward, Meehan against Kavanagh, Kavanagh there first, Meehan hassles him out of it, needs some support, does pretty well, oh, does very well, handballs it back to Parrott, 55 out, went left, came back right, handball to file it, off a step towards the pocket, Grundle, Hybens comes out as well, ball falls back towards Grozdanowski, had it lost it, handballed it over the top, too far for Brackley, through for one behind to the Hawks. Gee, if you've got big Hybens down there, you either kick it, yeah, kick it either in front of him or behind him. Kick it to him, boys. 8 13 61 in Valley. Anarchy 10 6 66. 12 and a half played third term. No ball in the fact back pocket, and it's Costello who has it. Little short chip has to be good, and is. Hits Kavanaugh on the chest. Goes out wide. Another good kick required. Again, nice kick. And the mark's been taken out there by McAuliffe. So the chip again goes to Wilson. So they've got the ball just outside 50. He's looking to play on and get the ball going, but uh, they've covered off well. Redout comes up. He takes the mark. And he now went one way. He's going to put himself under pressure now. He has to be a good kick. Goes back to the middle of the ground. Players come across. Ball's tapped down. McHenry. Handball goes out. Went towards Walmsley. He can't take clean possession. Ball ends up in the hands of Hamer, who gets through the contest. Then he's pinned, and he'll need to get it out. Out comes Etridge. He's tackled by the Blasio. And it's going to be Etries with the resulting free kick. Surely he can't kick it from here. He's so kicked him from everywhere else today. He might pop some candy up here and run around. Well, the way he's <laughs> going, he might as well try it. I've seen plenty of it sold today. <laughs> and Etridge now goes long direct, straight towards goal. Contest, Too big. strong mark. And Archuni takes the mark. So Archuni now. All in the fullback position. Goes out wide. Nice looking kick into space. And Perrett comes up and gets the ball. Goes quickly round the boundary line. Has to be good. Kick hits the target. And it's Grozdanowski out there, Dan. And he's just the back in the defensive side of the ground. A little chip over the top. Wasn't good. Needs to be some running coming through. Look for his brother. Maybe it was a good kick. Because he's come across. So Mick Grozdanowski has the ball now. Target's got to be Gr Grundle. Goes in that direction. Two on one. Back of the contest. Brackley overruns the ball. Corey Collins, he's able to see it over the boundary line safely. And it will be thrown back into the field of play. I reckon if they've got a bloke like Hybens down at full forward to take the big mark, they've got to get Dalton to lead up a bit more and give him two options to go to. Wouldn't it be better to have him sitting out there and Dalton Grunnell behind him? Possibly. So Hybens now has the ball. He taps it down nicely, went towards Meehan. Meehan got his own kick back, handball back out of the contest, went back to Hybens, steps around, kicks back towards the goal square again, a two-on-one situation, and it's to Costello. Oh, oh, Grundle in the goal square, kicked the ball off the ground sideways. And is able to manage it through for one behind. So eight goals, 14 now to the Inverleys side. 
and Anarchy on 10 goals, 6. We have gone uh, 15 minutes, third quarter, the Grand Cycling Sports scoreboard. So Nick Costello with the footy. Do the kicking and duties on this occasion. Not much movement from the, uh, from the Anarchy boys. He's got Wilson standing start on half back. So he goes in that direction. Got a couple against oh, him. He just plucks mark. it out of the air. Gives it away to Kavanagh, if you don't mind. Handballs it out board. And good shepherd from Kavanagh as well. McCauliffe back from centre wing towards half forward. Could be the turnover. One on two. Anarchy needs some support. Good play. Muir got back there to help out for Inverlee. Chipped the ball to Grobstanovsky. Michael gives it away quickly to Hamer on the outboard and centre wing. Goes towards Brackley at half forward. Can get around, can he? Powell, well, he pl played it in front <laughs> and then uh, got ripped off the football. Handball, no look from McKenna. Short little kick from Costello. Collins takes the mark at half back, uncontested. Got Gledhill short, not much else to kick to. He goes over his head. The Redoute comes That's out. Redoute's choice, kick. handballs at the Gledhill. Gledhill's kick underneath in the end. Handball, McAuliffe gets it in board to Kavanagh on the cricket pitch. Goes through the sand pit. Little right foot kick might be okay. It is. Walmsley takes the mark. Centre half forward. Anarchy building. The ruse. And the kick over the top. No mark taken. Inverlee with the numbers. They just kick it though to anybody. Three on one. Hamer's the one. He might uh, it might end up falling for him though. He gets some support in the end. Oh, through the middle. Was that too high? The umpire said no play on. Anarchy have got it again. Kavanagh just chips the ball over the top. It's okay. Redout's got it. The Redout's choice. What do you call him now? Redout. Redout. Yeah, Redout. Redout. Goes long towards the goal. Ooh, bounced the right way too, but uh, just the left-hand side of the goal post. Three for one behind. One goal, one. His personal tally. They get a 10-7-67 Anarchy. In the league, 8 14 62 The Grandy Cycling Sport third quarter scoreboard. 17 minute played. So it will be Ling having the kicking duties from the fullback position. Decides to transport the ball to the back pocket. Mark is taken out there. McGrozdanowski has the ball. He goes over the top, slow through the air. Ball is tapped to the boundary line. Picked up there by Logue. Doesn't release it. Runs over the boundary line. Umpire says throw it back in. How long can you leave the big fella down there? All quarter this when you're playing with the breeze. But yeah. I think he needs to be further up the field, a bit more involved in it. Ball tapped out. Grozdanowski takes it out of the ruck contest. Goes back to the centre of the ground. Going towards That's Wilson. That's why I ask. True position. Ball goes back and he's kicked the ball. It's a nice looking kick. Good oh. lead up and mark. And it's that man again, well, Etridge. He's always got a field that. day. Goes out wide. Good target. Good kill skills. And Phillips, Phyllis takes the mark. He's just inside 50. Hard kick from that position. Uh, reckon just going back into a bit of a breeze. Not much blowing, but there's still a bit. Yeah, I wouldn't be putting too much of your hard earned. I might put your hard earned on it. I wouldn't be putting much of mine, I can tell you. That's right. So he's going to kick from outside 50. He's pretty confident. He's going back on the long run. Comes in. Yeah, Hitler was confident too. Yes. Ball <laughs> kicked from right on 50. Good distance. Good coverage. 50 to 1. 50 to 1. Don't worry about that. 50 to 1. What a kick. <laughs> 11 goals, 7. Anarchy. They now lead in the on 8 goals, 14. And we've gone 18 minutes. Third quarter of the Granny Cycling Sports scoreboard. Well, if you can put the Moz on the Invalid Blacks, I can put it on the Anarchy <laughs> Blacks, mate. That was a beautiful kick. I honestly didn't think he could kick it from out there on the boundary line. Tough. J just typifies the way they're playing today. They obviously haven't been playing footy before today as well as they've played today. So maybe we've come here with the with the radio game and they've thought, well, we better real shaping up here and give them something to think about. And they've done just that. So back to the middle. Wilson and Grozdanovsky. Wilson gets it down beautifully to McAuliffe. Off a step, torpedo punt. Towards half forward, punched away. Ball in dispute now. Ball's okay for Achini. Got rid of the football under pressure. Falls back to Etridge. Was that too high? Umpire said play on. I think it was all right. Okay, man got it away. Handball, Logue inboards. Good to Hamer. Runs through centre wing. Goes long towards centre half forward. Over the head of Costello. Coming out, Grundle. Had it, lost it. Didn't pick it up. Hutchinson's handball was pretty good to Brackley. And he should finish off the good work, and he does. Great play, Blake Hutchinson. Brackley kicks his second. And quick transfer of play from Inverleet. They got a 9-14-68. And they trail Anarchy 11 7 73. It's Grandy Cycling Sport, third quarter scoreboard, 19 and a half played. Well, I mentioned a minute ago that Anarchy haven't been playing as well as they've played today. Well, I think Inverlee have actually played better 
football in the past few weeks than they have today. But that's the sort of footy that they've been producing in that little passage of play that they've obviously been producing in the weeks before this because that was brilliant all the way down the ground and a great goal to the Hawks. So back to five points now. They're all back in the middle of the ground. Dalton Grundle now going in and uh, giving Grozdanovsky a bit of a cut out in the ruck. So ball thrown up. Both players up. Actually, Grundle got the ball down, picked up there by Van Stebbing, who gets the ball backwards, gains up the hands of Phyllis, the last goal kicker for the Anarchy side. Hamer cuts it off and picks the ball up. He's been important for him to lead the last couple of weeks, and he's got himself involved in this quarter. Ball comes out, goes towards the half-back line. Running out there is Felsner. She needs to get rid of it. Oh, he's lucky. He stepped inside oh, he's and stepped gone 30 outside. Metres. And he kicks the ball back inside. Didn't hit the target. Hamer goes back and collects it. Goes back towards low. Looks behind him. He has clean passage. Half forward line. Good kick and finds Grundle. Oh, he's bumped. Bounces off the contest and kicks towards goal. Unfortunately, he doesn't kick well and through for a minor score. So we're at 9 15 now for the Invalid side. 11 773 to Anarchy and 21 minutes gone. Third quarter of the Granny Sock and Sports Scoreboard. Costello waiting for the footy to come back from the farm next door. I, I wouldn't be going out there to get bit by a tiger snake <laughs> out there. <laughs> Might get some mushrooms while you're out there, though. Kick in. It's okay. Good Phyllis on 50. Smith gives him a short little lead. He goes in that direction. Takes the mark. So the half back. Chips the ball. Mark taken by Felsner. Call to play on now. Goes along the line towards centre wing. Rickett with a coming up 30 in line. In front, Alex Cations takes the mark at centre wing. Well, it's the wind you have to be in front. <coughs> so Cations. Short kick. Oh, geez, that's a bad one. It's a terrible kick towards Gerard. Ball from behind. Grozdanovsky, somebody got one from behind yeah, as did. well. He oh, did. now high from Ger on Gerard. That's a free kick to him against Kenner. Plays on quickly on centre wing. Draws a player. Gives it away to Hamer. Oh, that's a bit ordinary. And the Cortliff as well. Gave, gave him one. The ball, you keep your eye on that. Ball comes yeah. inside 50 for, oh, Hutchinson. Just roves it. Great. Steals the ball. And then gives a bit of candy and kicks the goal. Blake Hutchinson second. Great play. He's been the uh, contributor in the last couple. And it's 10 15 75 in Belay. They take the lead. Anarchy 11 7 73. The Grandy Cycle and Sport third quarter scoreboard 22 and a half play. Well, they're looking a bit more dangerous now in Belay. They're opening up a bit more and they probably deserve that goal. You don't like to see a bloke get hit when he's not even looking at the football and they probably deserved it very, very much. Well, shake think. them, shake them up a bit, mate. Get them involved. So it's funny. The umpire now has the ball back in the middle of the ground again. Grundle up against. Wilson is doing it on his own in the middle. Time and spelling in the forward lines. The ball thrown up over the top. Wilson gets the ball down. Oh, good solid bump there from Berg. Goes back, doesn't try to pick it off the ground. Just kicks it, lays the boot into it. Picked up by de Blasio. From centre half back, transfer the ball into the half forward line. Oh, good mark, diving mark, mark there from Gerard. And he has the ball. He's looking for options further down the field. It's going to go long. Hybens is going to be the target. He's up in front. Good stretch, good hands, good possession by the body. And it's going to be a free kick. Don't want to get it turned around now, boys. He's going to get 50. Oh, I can't work that out. Like, if they're pushing and shoving, they're pushing and shoving it against each other. The first push come from the anarchy, from the invalid bloke, and then they still give 50. Doesn't matter now. Grab the scores on the board. Well, he 15. would have kicked it anyway, but that's where he that. should have kicked it from. Yeah, I know. Exactly. Didn't need to go back and do it. No. As I said, I can't understand why he'd even try and risk that, giving no. it away. No, me either. It's ridiculous footy. They've just lost the plot a bit. So, Inverley on 11-15, Anarchy 11-7, and we've gone 24 minutes. The third quarter of the Granny Slock and Sports Scoreboard. They've really got to be on song here, Anarchy, because they've, they've led most of the day, and when they haven't led, it's only been a kick, but now they're just starting to get away in Inverley. So, they've got to make sure that they, they come into this last quarter a, a lot closer than what they could have been. Like, you know, a goal, two goals. Otherwise, they're in trouble because we know the fitness of the boys from Inverley. Gr Grundle having a run in the ruck now. <clears throat> Free kick. Going to Anarchy. Off the ball to Simon Gatt. Now Gatt from the middle. Drives it long. Long lead. McHenry. All of a sudden, they're breaking Cations, down there now. Yeah, it's Cations who takes the mark. 
Switches to Ling. Takes the mark at half back. Down the line. He's got Logue. He goes short. Oh, sets man a task. He goes up. He should have taken it in the end, actually. He dropped it. Gled Hill gives it away to Smith. Handball to Collins. Wasn't ready for it. Looking for Berg as well. Now the ball comes back to Gat. Under pressure. Grovdanovsky. Good tackle. Smell Here it comes. There it is. Uh, Grovdanovsky will take the free kick. Left half back for the Hawks. Wilson coming off to have a rest two late stages of the third term. Just set him up, self up. Grozdanovsky goes up to Meehan. Takes it at centre wing. Goes inboard to Cations. Back on the ground. Takes the mark. Cations from centre half forward. Long to Hybens. Holds his ground against Parsons and takes the mark. He's too big there. That's didn't what he like is. It didn't look like it was coming off for about 10, 12 minutes, but it's starting to now. He's kicked two. And he's going to kick his third. And they're going to make the margin 14 points. And Wilson came off the ground. Did you see that? Well, a little bit in jarred, I think. Was that Wilson, was it? It was. Mm. Like standing at full forward, a little bit sore too. I reckon that's why <laughs> he might be there too. <laughs> so Hyvins comes in, kicks the goal. He's third, 12th for Inverleed, 12-15-87. They oh. lead Anarchy 11 7 73. The Grandy Cycle and Sport third quarter scoreboard is 26 minutes played. I wonder what Jaden Simon's doing next week. And uh, <laughs> Wales playing in the ruck against Mary Barra next week. Well, we, we would hope not, but. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely hope not, mate. I'll tell you what, ditto after that goal, what I just said the last one, but now it's a bit worse. They can't just hang on, I think, mean, Anarchy to score. They've got to get another one now. They've got to get another one and get a goal closer because the Inverloo boys, they're coming and they're coming hard. Interesting contest here in the ruck. Going to be Jai Kenner or is it going to be Daniel Berg that's going to do the ruck work? <laughs> you think Jai Kenner. Might be Berg versus Billy Cations. <laughs> See, this is where Steve Rickett would go into the ruck for Anarchy and do a really good job when he was here, when Big Wilson was out. So we're back in the middle of the ground. It's going to be Jai Kenner and up against Grundle. Grundle gets the ball down, goes past all players in the contest, picked up there by Perrett in the sand pit. The ball comes out, good feed forward, picked up there by Glen Hill, goes back, tries to feed the ball out, can't get rid of it, and the umpire's going to come in. I'll tell you what, it's going to get a bit fiery. I'll here tell you what, it, it, it will things. erupt. It yep. will erupt because some of these things that have been happening behind the play have been allowed to let go. So the ball's going to come back because the umpire says the right bloke's, wrong bloke's got the kick. Well, that's fair enough. There's an anarchy player in the hands of the and trailers, or I think. Kenner, it, shoulder, I think. <coughs> John Kenner, I think it is. He'll shake yep. it off. Ball with Gat. He goes short over the top. Mark has been taken. Glidhill. So he has the ball, he has players wide, but he just decides to go straight at the ground, looking for Berg. Good little interception there, just fingers on the ball was good enough. Ends up in the hands of Meehan, went wide to Logue. Logue went backwards and wide. We'll have Cations, just need to pick up the ball on the run on his left side. He can use the side of his body pretty well, but he goes over the top, finds Perrot. And particularly handball, missed the contest. And it was uh, Van Steading who went back and got the ball and picked the ball up and ends up with Kavanagh. Kavanagh into the half forward line. Redoubt over the top. Good spoil. Brings the ball to the ground. Went back and tried to collect himself. Grundle. Hands and knees. Picked up there. Handball goes back to Blasio. And to Logue. Out wide. Didn't hit its target. Pressure's on. Ball is taken. Oh, he put the ball down. Dropping the ball, says the umpire. And the resulting free kick will go to Anarchy. So out on the half forward line. Redoubt it is, I think. Goes inside. Kick oh. hit the target, but it was put down. Goes back outside. Player running and kicking was Gat. Goes in long. Oh! oh. It was an early fly. It has to be a free that? kick. <laughs> <laughs> it, was a, it was a great attempt. <laughs> but uh, Inverley was the recipient of the uh, free kick in that situation. So Grundle goes across the face of goal and has Ling in space by himself. Further afield, Meehan. Has a player over the top in Logue if he wants to go to him. Decides that, and that's where he goes. So Robbie Logue has the ball on centre wing now. Next kick's got to be good. Over the top. Went looking towards Filet. He's ambling up there, and he takes the mark. Has time to steady. Hybens has got to be your next target. He's just calling for the ball long. Put into space. Brackley. Costello. Picked up there by, I think that's his Fels. No, he did well at ground level. Hyman works hard. Now they need to get the ball out. Underneath the contest. He's in trouble here. He's dived over the top of it. It's come out. Umpire just letting things run. He won't let it run much longer because Collins has dived in and it will be a ball up 10 to 20 metres out from goal. It's just getting a bit tired. And Rickett had, had low covered up here, but he had to go to the play with the ball because the boy behind him just couldn't make up the ground. So the ball deep in the forward line. Hybens does the ruck work, taps it to himself, kicks smothered. 
Runs towards the boundary line, picked up by Costello, goes over the top, was nice and casual about it. Had the player who ran wild in Felsner, steadies himself, puts himself oh, under pressure. Get rid of it. Twice now he's got himself out of trouble as the siren sounds at three quarter time. Inverley will go in at 12 goals, 15 and lead Anarchy on 11 goals, 7. And that quarter running just short of 30 minutes. So 12 15 87 Inverley. Anarchy 11 7 73. Goal kickers for three quarter time, Dale. Yes, for the home 